Well, today we have a 19-inch Wells Gardner K4600. And as you can see, it's got this triple image thing going on here. If you're unfamiliar with the K4600, there are two little daughter cards that are inter interface boards. There's a video interface board and a deflection interface board. And I got a couple of boards here for show and tell. So the deflection interface board, it has the vertical circuit here. There's the two ICs for vertical deflection. And all the stuff on the perimeter here is all the vertical circuit. And everything in this area here is the horizontal circuit. You can see that there is a white little white border line that runs all the way around. Um, you know, you don't want to keep sending your love over the border line. You want to stay within the border line here. So, <laughs> so the horizontal circuit is everything inside of this white line border, and the vertical is all the stuff on the outside. So what could possibly be causing uh, this triple image? Well, on the deflection board here, there is a horizontal oscillator. It's this L351 inductor here. For all intents and purposes, yeah, it's, a, it's an adjustable inductor. And this is responsible for part of the horizontal oscillation circuit. And what's happening here is the oscillation is not adjusted properly. Uh, I was uh, rebuilding this chassis and I had these extra boards here. And this one works and this one works. And I went to test this extra one I had here and I, I turned it on and I had this problem. Like, okay, I know what the problem is, but I don't think it's ever been documented. So. The issue here is that the oscillation is not adjusted properly. We have to adjust that oscillation inductor. Well, how do we do that? Well, Wells Gardner, in their infinite wisdom, knew that this could be a problem, and there is a hole right there. And you can even see that inductor in there right behind that hole. So while this is installed in the, in the monitor, you can actually put a screwdriver through... Oops, sorry, I keep hitting the camera with my hand, sorry. You can put a screwdriver directly through that hole there. Uh, actually, let me zoom in a bit, you can see here. We can put a screwdriver directly through that hole and into that inductor there. And there, now we're in the inductor. And I need to zoom out, kind of let go of the screwdriver a bit. Oh, wrong way, you nut. Okay, now I gotta get back in there to fill out. All right, so I'm going to turn this clockwise and you'll hear the oscillation sound change here. You don't hear any high-pitched any high pitched noises. But as, as I get closer to the correct oscillation, listen. Not sure if it's coming through on camera. There we go. I don't know if you can... It sounds like tires screeching. I'm turning back to the left here. Listen. I'm going to go back to the right. <laughs> Sounds like an electric vehicle slowing down, but look at that. See, there's if I go back to the left uh, See there's our triple image. I'm turning it to the right turning it to the right turning it to the right BAM Locked right on also you can see here how it shifts the image left and right So that's another adjustment if you have a horizontal position out of alignment on the 4600 you can actually adjust that inductor for the oscillation and boom, bring it right in. So if you ever, ever have a 4600 with this exact problem, with the triple image, uh, you need to adjust your oscillation to the clockwise to the right until it dials right in. And again, if you need to adjust your horizontal position, you can do the same thing. And that's how you adjust it. That's what it's for. Um, and not really gonna do a full deep dive into these. I've got a bunch of videos on these already, but I was just, this was working. Uh, I just did a cap and a reflow, nothing really worth making a video on. But then when I found out that uh, one of these three cards I've got, I plugged it in and it had that problem, I thought that'd be a good video here to show how to fix that if you ever have that problem and also how to adjust your position. So that's about it. Uh, stay tuned for more. Nice, quick, easy one this video. So thanks very much and we'll see you next time.